Guys, today we're talking bounce on the golf club. What is bounce on the golf club? Here we go. That angle there is your bounce angle. Okay, from the leading edge to the sole of the club. So the sole of the club leading edge, that's your bounce angle. So there's two different clubs, two different bounce angles. This one on my left hand, this one here has got less bounce than the one on the right, on my right. Okay, so this one here has got more bounce. So there's more angle between the back edge of the club and the leading edge of the club, so that is your bounce angle. Why is that important? Okay, so I'm going to play a shot here, we're at the 16th green. I'm short of the of the river, a little river that runs by, and I'm going to play a shot over. The grass is quite lush, okay, so the ball sits up. So therefore, if the ball's sitting upwards, let's imagine the ball's sitting up here, I want the leading edge or the back of the club to strike way down on the grass, so that I get the leading edge of the equator leading edge of the club underneath the equator of the ball okay so I'm wanting the back of the club to sit there because the ball's sitting up if the ball was sitting down I'd want less bounce to make that achievable okay so also if you get a little bit steep and you take quite big chunky divots with your wedges get more bounce on there because you're using the roundedness of the sole of the club to stop you digging in and you're going to get a better strike so here I am using lots of bounce on the club this is this is from my Cleveland um, custom fit wedge carts, 14 degrees of bounce, so that angle there is 14 degrees. Okay, so let's play a few shots just going back and through. Good, so the back of the club slid in the ground to stop me digging in. Excellent, again the ball sitting high. Good, ball sitting high up on the grass, loads of bounce, brings the leading edge underneath the ball. Stops me digging in. Excellent. Now we need to take this to the extreme. Let's go to the other side. So this one here, this has eight degrees of bounce, which is ideal for a tight lie. So imagine if you're on links and the ground's really, really tight. So you've got a really tight lie. The leading edge of the club is now a lot closer to the ground. And we're going to get the leading edge of the club below the equator of the ball. Instead of the leading edge being up here because the ball's sitting down, we need to get the leading edge down in there. So this has only got eight degrees of bounce. I'm going to just move this camera for a second. There we go. So now, I couldn't really get a tighter lie than this if I'm honest. I'm on a concrete path. I'm not going to make any attempt to try and scoop the ball up here. I'm just going to trust the bounce of the club because it's limited bounce. The back of the club will strike the ground and the leading edge will go below the equator of the ball. So this is a good club to use, a good bounce angle to use if you've got a shallow angle of attacks, so if you come in nice and low. The last one was if you come down steep and take big divots. So here we go. Ball sitting in me. You can't get a tighter lie than this. There we go. Back. Great, ball up into the air, there was no effort to try and lift it up, no manipulation whatsoever, I just let the club do the job and the lack of bounce encouraged the club to play it nice and tight. Same again, ideal, so think about your lie angle or your, your bounce angle in relation to the lie of the shot you have, if it's sitting up in the grass it's quite lush and you take it quite steep then get a club or a wedge with lots of bounce, 12, 14 degrees. If you play Lynx golf, you attack the ball shallow, the lie's tight, get as little bounce in there as you can to get the leading edge closer to the ground, eight, six degrees of bounce. Try that.